بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته welcome back to another session of Quranic Arabic recitation with Tajweed rules in this session we will study these three words of um, Al Qaeda Nuraniya page number 12 this uh, slide is just a reminder for transliteration purposes so we are revisiting some of the principles that we have studied before so the first one is um, we need to know the knowledge we need to have the artic uh, knowledge of articulation points for each um, letter the second one is we need to know the characteristics of each letter a sifat of each letter uh, we have studied only a few of them so far but we will study the rest in advanced level the third one is um, the knowledge of rules uh, rule or rules attached to individual letter because of its position in a word or words uh, the fourth one is um, exercising the tongue and a lot of repetition. So if we are given, for example, we are given a word and we have to apply these steps to make our uh, reading or recitation easy. So the first one is recognizing individual letter. So if you go to here, so individual, the first one is Arif, second one is Hamza, third one is Ba, and next one is Dal. And the final one is Alif. So we recognized individual letters. Step one. In step two, we recognize the harakat that are used. So the harakat would be, or the signs would be here. That's Fatha, Fatha, Fathatain. So we recognize the harakat. And the next one is we have to recognize uh, if. Uh, the letter letters uh, which letters are silent and which aren't uh, let's change the color okay let's see so if you see here alif this is um, silent and uh, this one is not uh, ba is not silent dal is not silent and um, alif is silent so alif is silent hamza is not silent ba is not silent dal is not silent and alif is silent so we recognize those ones and the next one is we apply the rules um, that attach to individual letter we will study that in advanced level uh, apply the correct sifat so we have studied only a few of them one of them would be um, if the letter is heavy or light so we apply that, those rules and the rest we will study in advanced level uh, the next one is pronouncing each letter from its correct makhraj articulation point uh, and the other one would we can add is um, we count how many syllables are there. Uh, for example, here is a one ba two den. So there are three syllables in this word. So if we uh, manage to uh, implement these steps correctly, uh, then our recit our reading and recitation will be uh, very easy. These are not fixed rules. Uh, you can add or subtract to it. Uh, these are just general guidelines uh, for um, recitation or reading the Arabic. So the first word we have is Bakhila and it has three syllables. The first syllable is Ba Fatha Ba. So Ba is not silent and then we have Fatha. Ba Fatha Ba. Ba Fatha Ba. The second syllable is Kha Kasrahi. So the Kha is not silent and we have Kasra. Kha Kasrahi. Kha Kasrahi. So we have to combine the first two syllables and we have Bakhi, 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 Bakhi. The third syllable we have is Lam Fatha La. So Lam is not silent and we have Fatha. Lam Fatha La. Lam Fatha La. So now we combine the three syllables and we have Bakhila, Bakhila. Bakhila, Bakhila. So the next word we have Bararatin and it has four syllables. So the first syllable is Ba Fatha Ba. Uh, and Ba is not silent here. Ba Fatha Ba. Ba Fatha Ba. The second syllable is Ra Fatha Ra. Ra, uh, ra is not silent. Ra Fatha Ra. Ra fatha ra. Now combining the two syllables, we have ba ra, ba ra, ba ra, ba ra. 
the third syllable is ra fatha ra again ra fatha ra ra fatha ra now combining the three syllables we have ba ra ra ba ra ra ba ra ra ba ra ra the fourth syllable we have ta kasratain tin ta is not silent and we have the haraka is ta dum kasratain ta kasratain tin ta kasratain tin so now we combining all four syllables and then we have a word of ba ra ra tin ba ra ra tin ba ra ra tin ba ra ra tin so the next word we have is ja'ala and it has three syllables the, the first syllable is a jim fatha ja and jim is not silent and we have fatha jim fatha ja jim fatha ja the second syllable is ain fatha a the ain is not silent and we have fatha ain fatha a ain fatha a now we combining the two syllables we have ja'a 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 the third syllable we have is lam fatha la so lam is not silent and we have fatha lam fatha la lam fatha la and now we combining the three syllables we have ja'ala 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 so the next three slides would be uh, sounds only without spellings bakhila 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 bararatin 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 ja'ala 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 so this is the end of this session in next session we will practice those three words 10 times to give you in a practice inshallah we will see you in next session until then assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh